And we have Brother Mohammed in the other best of Allah. Salam Kona. You guys know no shouting, no screaming. Have a nice civil rights discussion. We'll turn on Brother Mohammed and Jonathan will be doing that. The floor is yours. We're talking about the attributes of Allah. I'll leave it to you guys. So enjoy it. Yeah, if anyone shouts, you get one point on yellow card and the red card, you're off. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so uh, just continue from what you were saying, right? Because you were speaking when, when we were cut off, yeah? When you say the, the attributes of Allah are ridiculous, etc., the ones I gave you, right? Which is uh, power, intelligence, uh, life, independence, right? Now, you tell me what you mean by these attributes are rubbish, okay. ridiculous, so, so, and what you said. So, so uh, when you have very, very wide generalized attributes that have yeah. no form at all, yeah. they, they're meaningless, they don't mean anything. So the way that human beings understand other, otherness mm. is through attributes that define who they are. So for example, mm. if I was supposed to meet you in the park, um, they, you, I know your name is Muhammad, you're wearing a black hat, you've got brown eyes, mm. you've got a beard, mm. you're handsome, whatever it may okay, be. Thank you. <laughs> yeah? And those are yeah. your attributes, yes. you're kind, you know, if I suppose I wanted you to marry my sister, yeah. you've got some attributes, you're okay. kind, you're generous, you're okay. thoughtful, those are attributes yes, okay. that I can see in, in front of me in your behavior, mm. right? When you, when you say, but, but God doesn't, God, by definition, um, uh, the claim about Allah is that Allah is the mindfulness behind all the universe. Mm. So in other words, there's, there's all these people here, all the cells in their bodies are reproducing and dying and all their synapses are happening in their brains and, and Allah is in control of everything, yes? That's something that's completely incomprehensible to us. It doesn't matter how many attributes you tell me. Right? Can you, mean by, can you explain what you mean by in control? It, well, it, it's all part of a plan. It's all organized. It's not random. In what sense? In what sense? Well, my understanding about, about your belief and belief of many other, others is that Allah, is, you said, is in control and independent. I didn't say that. In control, said, I didn't say. I said independent. Has control. You said one of the attributes is I said, control. I said a power. power. I didn't say control. Okay. So I, my words are very okay, careful, so yeah? Fine. Okay, so, yeah. So in other words, yes. the, 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 there isn't randomness this okay. is happening here. There's, there's, a, there's yeah. a plan yes. going on. There's okay. stuff happening, which sure. are, for example, I'm, I was born. Mm. I was born for some kind of purpose, which, which Allah had in mind, okay? Sure. And then I'm given certain tests of choices to make, which are all like, like tests that I plan like an examiner uh, in a school board, sure. yes, they're, they're, given to, they're given to me by Allah, and this is just me, one of you know, billions of people who have ever existed, yes, that, that, and that's just human beings, it's the, the whole the universe, which is a little tiny planet, there's other planets and other worlds. So there's three points I want to make, yeah, three points. First point is this, the assumption that Allah's attributes is like our attributes. We believe as Muslims that Allah's attributes are perfect, they're not deficient in comparison to human beings' attributes. So when you say I have compassion, I have love, it's not perfect love, it's not perfect compassion. If I, have, if I do justice to something, it's not perfect justice, right? All our attributes are humans are deficient. The Creator's attributes are not like the creation's attributes. That's what we believe as Muslims, yeah? So the Quran says, there is nothing like unto him, right? And he's the all hearing, all seeing. So he hears, he sees, but his hearing and his sight is not like, is not like mine. Just three points I want to make quickly, I want to make them quickly, yeah? That's the, that's the, first, the first point I wanted to make. I lost the other the other points I wanted to make. Right. Now the second point I wanted to make is what? Yeah, you having attributes like, for example, knowledge and, and power and, and uh, independence, etc., is definitely more perfection than an, 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 an entity that doesn't have them. So you is definitely definitely has more value and better than a rock. A rock doesn't have the attributes or the capacities that you have. The more attributes that you have, especially if it was power, if it was intelligence, the more you have from these attributes, the better and higher you are and more perfect you are than other beings. Especially if these attributes right, are perfect. Like for example, our, our eyesight I cannot see behind an object. If there is an object blocking, I cannot see. Like behind you, I cannot see. But Allah sees everything, there is no, nothing can block Allah's sight, right? Allah sees everything, everywhere there is light, there is no light, Allah sees. So Allah's eyesight and attributes is not like an attributes. Now coming back again to the same point, we say we don't understand the howness of Allah's attributes, which means how they operate. Because Allah is, as you said, is above our understanding as humans. But we understand His attributes, what, what they mean. What power means, what intelligence means, etc. And we deduct them, as I said to you, from the universe around us. When we look at the universe surrounding us, we come to the conclusion that it's a necessity. It's not a maybe yes or no thing. I, I find the universe full of beauty, but also cruelty, full of love, now but we're also going to, hatred. No problem, we can yes? deal with that. So, so sure. uh, and, and, and I find the construct mm. of, of Islam in particular, but also other religions, but Islam in particular, the idea of revelation to, to an Arab in, in 7th century you know, Middle East, the idea of, of, this, of the revelation and looking at the revelation itself. Two separate points? Yes? No, 
Yeah. One is about the evil, one is about the prophet. Like. No, but, I, yes. but I'm saying the, the, yes. whole, the whole, put the whole thing together. Mm. Allah has these, has these manifestations of attributes, mm. the long name of attributes, and then the connection between Allah and human beings through religion, through faith, through text. We'll come to yes. that, yeah. I find the whole story, mm. ask me what I'm Muslim, I find the whole story like somewhere between you know, ridiculous and incomprehensible and revolting. Sure. Now, now uh, again, coming back to what I was saying to you over there, so, uh, uh, subjective demeaning terms does not belittle the truthfulness of an idea. Me calling something uh, hideous, e bad, is all, is all, if you just allow me to finish, I'm saying, I want to say something, yeah? yeah? Does not demean the validity of an argument. If you have something against Islam... Just because Islam, I don't like something doesn't mean it isn't true. Yeah, that's what okay. I'm saying. Yeah. So what I'm saying, if someone wants to bring something against Islam, it cannot be something subjectively, subjective or emotional. It has to be an argument that we both agree upon but, but, or disagree yeah, upon. Okay, but... but, but, but yes, can you allow me just to finish what I'm saying? But, 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 but I'll okay. come back to on that. On sure, that. Okay. yeah, yeah. So yeah. one of the most important attributes for me mm. of any deity, mm. Allah of course, is, is justice. Okay, decency, good. kindness, good. justice, good. benevolence. Okay, good. Because if, this, if Allah is not benevolent, right, he Allah is, is a nasty, Allah is just, nasty just. God, then jump in the lake. Again, try and again, it's not going to work. Yeah? Like, no, maybe with some people they get offended. No, no, no. But, saying, but I would, I it's not offend anybody. No. I'm saying if No, but Allah, it's an offense. It's, it's an offense. I'll tell you why. If Allah is malevolent, sure. right, he's mm. bad, mm. I'm not interested. So can if I make a point? If Allah is benevolent, is a good God, which means there's justice and fairness in the world, then I look at the world and I say, okay, is this a world that appears to be run by benevolence? No. Okay, can I answer that point? But first I want to establish a principle. If you're willing to respect the principle, we can move forward, right? In Islam, we believe as Muslims, if someone is demeaning or mocking the religion that we believe in, right? We do not stay with them, right? Because me staying talking with you is a, is a form of me being okay with what you're saying, right? The least I could do is walk away from you. Therefore, if we want to have a civilized, nice discussion, I know your ideas about Islam, you're, all, you're free to have them, but if you want to have a discussion with me, Try not to belittle the creator of Islam or the prophets of Islam. Because, uh, let me just explain what I mean, yeah? That's my belief. If you respect me as an individual, that's my belief. Which means I, will, I can have, I want to have a nice discussion with you, like we're having a nice discussion. Okay. But well, how do you define, like, hmm. like, how do you define, like, where is this line here? Because, if, you know, if I, let's look Can I say, give you the line? I can no, give you the line. Fine, yeah. The line is, you can, you can describe the idea of something, but you cannot use subjective, uh, 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 insulting terms. Like saying Allah is X or Allah is that. You can say, you can say, yeah. I, I, let me explain. Yeah. If I wanna, I don't believe that Allah is just, I can say I don't believe that Allah is, is I don't believe Allah is just. Okay. Rather than saying I, don't, I believe Allah is X. You get the point? It's an easier way of saying the same thing. So I'm saying being considered. Okay, so you're just saying make yes. it subjective. Uh, uh, yeah, That's all you're saying. Uh, I, I'm saying. So I'll, give, I'll give an example. Let me just, before I don't, I don't want Without to insult you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If, if, if yes. I say to you, I've read, which is true, I've yes. read the Quran and I was repulsed by the reading of it. Personally. That's fine. That's you. That's not yeah, yeah, that's that's fine. Okay. It's you. Yeah, yeah. Fine. I'm just it's saying. Fine. Yeah. No, that's fine. Yeah, exactly. That's good. That's okay. beautiful. I think. Fine. There's no problem with that. But just calling the creator, then it becomes a subjective term. And the problem is with me is this, is that my scripture, which I believe in, commands me to do a certain thing when that happens. Right. And I have to follow it. You I get understand. the point. It's like you're not eating pig. You're exactly. not allowed to do it. Exactly. It. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Let's come back to now to the justice right. thing. Yeah. So just so, you. I, and I want to make a point about yeah. it, if you allow me. Yeah. Okay. Evil that you see, you think is evil, does not necessitate the, the thing being evil. Meaning, I can see someone going to hospital, cutting someone, amputating someone's arm, and I think it is hideous, horrible people, but the reality is they're saving this guy's life. Yeah? So not necessarily that what we perceive as humans to be evil is in reality evil. So we believe as Muslims. When we say Allah is the all-wise, which is one of his attributes, he's not just just, he's also merciful and he's wise and he has attributes, right? We view Allah holistically, right? We don't just take one attribute. So Allah is wise. His wisdom is infinite. My wisdom is limited. Therefore, I can see something. Assume that that something is bad, when in reality that something is not bad because Allah knows. Step by step by step. Because Allah knows. Because I just want to give you the answer that will satisfy you and you can come back intellectually. Yeah? It can be something which is good, but I, I did not just see why it's good. Second thing is, I said to you, this life is a test. When I was there, right, for human beings. You know our, our paradigm on that. If this life is a test, you have to, give, to be given the choice to do evil. It's a necessity. How can it be a test if I'm not able to do evil or good? Therefore, Allah has to allow evil within the world. In order for me to recognize good, I have to also see evil, the opposite of it, to understand it, to appreciate it. To appreciate the good, I have to see the evil. Therefore, there is a balance, there is a huge balance that takes place. And we don't believe any of Allah's uh, 
actions are unjust. Allah says He does not do injustice the way to an atom. Right? That's what we believe as Muslims. Come back, yeah, sure. Thank you for listening, by the way. Thank you, yeah. thank you for that. Yeah. So let's, let's talk about the uh, topic. By the way, you know I have to leave, you know? <laughs> this is just uh, like, it, 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 like three minutes. Okay. Yeah? okay. Let's just finish on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's finish on this, yeah. Another day we can have a discussion. Another day. Yeah. Let's suppose I um, I come to you and mm -hmm. your arms full of gangrene. I say, look, I'm really sorry, Jonathan. Where's gangrene? Because I don't gangrene know. Gangrene is a is a disease of the arm. Ah, we get to cut it off. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Okay. So I come and I say, I'm sorry, cancer, whatever. I'm going to cut this off yeah. so that you can have the other arm and the rest of your body. Otherwise, you're going to die. So you can live, yeah. So I say, well, I'm, you know, I'm sorry to lose my arm, but I go ahead and do it. Yes. And even if even if that happens whilst I'm sleeping, like I'm, I'm going into a car accident, I wake up and they've cut off my arm. Mm -hmm. The doctor explains to me yeah, yeah, yeah. why they did it. Yeah. Fine. Yes. But that's not what happens in life. Okay. Yeah. God doesn't tell us all this stuff. Mm -hmm. The vast majority of people in the world sure. don't believe in Islam. They don't know about the, the testing. Sure. They, they have you said you read the Quran. Grief. Yes. They have enormous grief and, and, and pain. Yes. Yeah. And then and then they die. It's not Quran. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And no one has told them. Okay. So it's just it's just in this world, leaving aside the afterlife. Yes. In this world, I understand. People's experience of the earth in this world is 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 an experience. But that's of not true. But that's not true. Allah told us why. No, but Allah you said, said only if you believe Allah. Said, no, no, no. Step by step now. Now, look, you made a claim. You said that Allah created us and these things exist. But Allah did I not. I believe that. I'm uh, saying. Yeah, no, no. I'm saying what we believe. Yeah. yeah. If you're saying what I might believe, you have to take my whole paradigm. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you cannot, okay. So you cannot say Allah didn't tell us what He told us, right? But it has multiple. These reasons I'm giving you are Quranic reasons. Right. Allah says, for, I'll give you a few examples. Allah tests those who believe more than those who have less weaker faith. If you have more faith, you have a higher test. Why? It's proof for your faith. Anyone can claim and say, I'm a believer. You can say, I'm a believer. I can say, I can say, oh, you're my best friend, you know, and I would do anything for you. When a situation takes place, that will, will prove whether I really, you're really my best friend or not. Then when you need, when you need something, I don't answer my, your calls. I never text you back. I step by step, Allah, we just step by step, I step by step. So the actions, they prove what's really within the heart of someone. Now, Allah knows what's in the heart of the people. Allah is making evident within society who's really believer as he's saying and who's not. So you can know the truth about these people. Step by step, step by step. I know, I know you want to say something, yeah? That's the first point, yeah? So Allah have told us. This is one example. Another example I said, Allah told us this is a test. Therefore, you will have, uh, uh, you will have difficulty in this life. Allah told us that the people will do evil because it's a test. It's a part of the test, right? Uh, these things I'm telling you. Allah told us, gave us stories. I'll give you an example. Moses and, and a person called Al-Khidr, yeah? They met and they went on a ship. People allowed them to get on the ship for free. Chapter 18 of the Quran, yeah? What happened is, that the friend of Moses, he started making a hole in the ship. So Moses said, these people, they did good to us by allowing us to get, to go, uh, to get on the ship for free. And you're making a, a hole in the ship. You're doing something evil, right? How did he later on respond to him? He said to him that there was a king, that this ship is gonna pass by. He takes every perfect ship for himself. If he found a problem with the ship, he would let the people go with the ship. So he was doing that, that another person perceived it to be evil, but in reality, it wasn't evil. So Allah is teaching us, I can see something. I can think it's evil. Do you think the Holocaust was evil? Now we're going somewhere else, no, we're think, going something else. I think killing anyone, I'll answer. Being oppressed is evil. Answer. Yes. Hundred percent, absolutely. Hundred percent. Oh, but don't worry, because they're all going to be the Shaheed and they're going to live up here after the afterlife. And the Jews who died in the concentration camp, they're all, they're all martyrs. It doesn't make any sense. Can I answer that? Okay. Oppression, in all ways, shape, or forms. Islam tells us. There is a, by the way, we end with this point because you know I had to have to go. I apologize for it, yeah? Another Let's day, maybe. Another time. Yeah, yeah, another day. But let me just finish with this point, yeah? When it comes to oppression in lands and things like that, Allah commands us to support those in, in oppression. The problem is Muslims are not supporting people who are in oppression. But Islam commands us if someone is in oppression to support that person in oppression. Islam doesn't say stay under a, uh, by step by step. Islam doesn't say stay under an oppressive nation like the Zionist, uh, the Zionist uh, 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 terrorist. It doesn't say do that. It says, that you should protect yourself, you should be army as Muslims. Someone oppresses you, you should defend yourself. Step by step, step by step. No, the Jews came step. out of Europe, right? We we'll go to another discussion now about Zionism and all of that. It's not what I want to discuss now. They came to the Haifa, and they, and they Can were attacked by Muslims. Can I answer that? Muslims. Okay, how they in 19... It was a little, tiny little country. In 19, you, uh, you clearly are not, Mr. You're not clearly representing history correctly. Okay. I'll tell you why. 1917, how many Jews were in, in Palestine? 
How, what is the give? percent? Answer my question, please. Yeah. Three hundred thousand, five hundred thousand. Okay. If there was three per, less than three percent of the population of the Palestinian uh, of the Jews in Palestine, yeah, and all of a sudden a guy decides, yeah, uh, Herzl, the 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 the, 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 the journalist, yeah, 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 and he decides yeah. to say, oh, you know what? Today, all of you come from Europe and go to Palestine, kick the people out of their houses, take over it and allow the British people, because they have a power, to establish a state force hopefully for you, give you the bigger, bigger part of the land, and, and kill and, and enslave and, and prosecute. Don't allow them to have food. Come on, man. Look, I don't know which history you're representing. Come on, well, man. Be a, honest. I, I have the same be, history you, as Be you. honest, because if you go to Palestine, I'm not, I, I don't have the root history. there, yeah? The right. yeah? The reason I was triggered to say that is yeah. yes. that according to my understanding of Jewish history, Right. It's just filled with oppression. Yeah, it also is. Also, oppression, oppression is. by Muslims as well. No. Yeah. It's they not. Were, the Jews were dimmi, yes, which is a form you, of oppression. Uh, uh, do you know what dimmi is? Yeah, it's like I'll end with pay, that. They have to pay a jizz. I'll end, no, I'll end with that, proving that you don't know what you're saying. <laughs> but let me say this, yeah? You claimed you read the Quran, I don't believe you really read the Quran. Can I mean by mean why I don't believe you read the Quran? Yeah. It's not reflected in what you read. Because if you have, you would know these points I made, why there is... There is uh, I remember everything in it. Step by step, no. But you will see, it's not one point, it's many points. It's throughout the Quran that yeah. there will be hardship in life. Throughout the Quran. Quran never gives us the assumption that we will live a happy, easy life. I, I didn't say, I didn't so, say it did. I don't, I don't think, can I you come back to me? Because okay. I want to end with yeah, that. Okay. We end with that. You said that Dimi is someone who pays the jizya. No, that's not necessary. That's not just, just it. What is the rights of Ahl al Dimma? The word Dimma, do you know what it means? It means they have the protection. Yeah. Dimma to Allah. Wait, wait, wait. They want your protection. Yeah, allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. Yeah? Allow me to finish. Please, please, allow me to finish. Yeah. Yeah? To explain the whole thing quickly because we, I need to go. Dimma means that they have the protection of Allah and His Messenger. Meaning what? We have a Muslim state. It's ruled by Muslims, it's a country that is ruled by them. A person who's a non-Muslim wants to live in that country. Muslims say, just simply, if you want to live in a country, you have to pay tax. The tax you're going to pay is less than the tax that Muslims are going to pay. And in return, what you get, you don't have to fight. You don't have to go to the army and fight. Muslim will fight and defend you. You have your rights, you can practice. Ah, you have your rights, you can practice your religion. You can apply your own laws. Dhimma is injustice towards Muslims. Being a dhimmi, because you haven't read it. No, you know Muslims? I haven't read it. It's because I wouldn't want to live in that society. I can tell you something. You, can, you don't I have to live. If I, you don't have to. If I were a Jew in Iraq 100 years ago, you don't have 200 to. years ago, oh, I can leave. Thank you. Yes, I've lived yes. there for 100 years. I don't like to have to leave. It's not a Jew. No, 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 I, want, I like this country. Okay, sure. In this country, sure, sure. it doesn't matter what my religion is. Sure. We're all secular. Sure. So if you want to keep religion, you do it. You're not all secure, right? No, of course. The secular country. Allah is early as well, though. And if you want to keep your religion, The Boris was just quoting the Bible, isn't it? Yeah? yeah well, not, okay. not, oh, we're sure, in sure. charge, and you guys, okay. it's like it's condescending. Can I answer that? Okay, we never said we're in charge. We're in charge. We'll Did I ever you. come to you? No, 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 that's, I said that's in a Muslim state. I started with that. I didn't say that's in a Muslim state. If it wasn't in a Muslim state, we would come to you and say, give me your jizya. No, jizya is only applied under Islamic state, where there is a leader of an Islamic state, and these people are living under that Islamic state. They're choosing to live, they're choosing to trade, get certain privileges, like as I said, not fighting in the war. And the people who pay the, the, the jizya, by the way, they're not the old uh, men, they're not the monks and priests, they're not women, they're not young children. Who, only people who pay it are the people who are working, adult men who work. So it's even better than the tax you have in the UK, that everyone has to pay. It's so not, the point, it's step by step. not about the tax. It's, step, it's, it's not about the tax. It's about, it's about the status in society. Right? Status, okay, let me answer yeah, that. What I'm, let saying, me answer what I'm that. saying is, so yes, I can there go. are exceptions. Yes. What I'm saying is... Sit 10 minutes and it's not 10 minutes. You've got to go, you've got to go. No, no, but, Next time. No, no, just, just let me finish this, this point. You were but saying you something... You keep on saying, let me finish, don't finish. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I don't mind, sure. but you've got to go. Yeah, 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 I'll finish this with this point, yeah. You've got people waiting for you. The status... Prophet Aisha said, let me finish with that, end with that, yeah. end with these things and then we can meet another day. Okay. And it was a nice discussion, I hope I didn't offend you in any way, it was not an intention, yeah. I don't, I don't have a religious objection, so you can say oh, anything you like about me. You offended even uh, yeah, like yeah, about personality. I don't personality. have the same as you do. Yeah, sure, sure. So, so uh, the Prophet Aisha said in his last ceremony, right, there's the difference between a black and a white, an Arab and an Arab. The difference is only piety. Prophet Muhammad is a messenger sent According to the Quran, chapter 7, verse 159, it's sent to everyone. See, O mankind, I'm a prophet of Allah to all of you. 80% of Muslims are not Arabs. Islam is a religion that treats with everyone the way, they, uh, the way uh, equally they should be treated. He gives the message to everyone, and it's your choice to accept or your choice to reject. The prophet lived. There was Jews. Now let's not nah, let's be in, let me in with that. You can have a discussion another time on that. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna look. We're gonna have yes. to end this at some point. Okay. So I they were to, ending it now, but I you wanna, wanna end it. I want you to take away this for yes. discussion next time. Sure. We have a, a hook. Hopefully, right? yeah. yeah hopefully. According to my understanding. Yes. Okay. Hindus. There are a billion Hindus in the 
1.2 billion Hindus in the world, and then mainly in South Asia. Two right? billion Muslims. Okay. No, the 1.2 billion is a lot of human beings, yes. right? Yes. Well, as far as I understand, non-believers. They consider to be non-believers by Islam, right? Do you know what non-believers means? It means, I don't know what you tell me. What okay, but... Uh, well, you let's discuss it. Let's get to the next slide. My, ah, I, I, went to, I went to the I'll mosque. just tell you this. The it's not a negative term. I went to the I'll mosque in Regent's Park and I, talk, and I asked him about the non-believers. And he yes. told me that the Hindus, for example, are an example of non-believers. Yes. Right? And, Let me explain. And the what, Quran says some very nasty things about non-believers. No, and, um, it doesn't. You have to provide your claims and evidences for that. I'll, I'll, I'll print it out. Yeah, yeah, time. please, next time. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Pleasure talking to you. Yeah. Nice talking to you. Thank you.